Ravi Madhu's cooking is all about inspiring everyone to cook delicious cuisines at home. Before proceeding further to watch this video, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. Don't forget to touch the bell button besides it so as to enable automatic notification of every new cooking video. Also like the video after watching it if you really like it. Click on description button below to find the list of ingredients and detailed recipe text. Today we are making Sarso Kasag that is mustard leaves curry. First of all coarsely chop one bunch of fresh mustard leaves along with attached soft branches. Don't use branches if they are not soft enough. Also peel and chop two medium sized shulgam that is turnip. Adding turnips is optional but sweetness of turnips counter the bitterness of mustard leaves. Chop two small muli that is radish. And a bunch of fresh spinach. Some people add methi that is fenugreek leaves also but we are not using them. Thoroughly. Wash all greens along with veggies and rinse with plenty of water at least for 4 to 5 times so as to remove all of mud and dust particles. Transfer washed ingredients into your pressure cooker in batches as there might not be enough space in it to adjust all of them together. Pour in little water and loosely cover the cooker with its lid. Do not seal it. Cook at medium high for few minutes. The ingredients will start settling down as the temperature increases and they start releasing their juices. Reduce heat to medium. Now you can add remaining ingredients easily into cooker. Close and seal the cooker with its lid now and cook at medium high for few minutes or until cooker whistles. Reduce the heat to low and continue cooking for half an hour. Turn off the heat after cooking for 30 minutes and allow cooker to release its steam on its own. Remove the lid after release of steam and let ingredients cool to room temperature. Transfer cooled mustard leaves mixture into jar of your blender or mixer or food processor. You may add in one or two chopped fresh green chilies also if you want sag to be hot. Grind into thick puree like paste. You may grind mixture in batches if required. Transfer ground mustard mixture into a bowl and keep aside for a while. Now put a pan or wok over medium heat and add 2 tablespoon ghee or cooking oil in it. Traditionally ghee is used to cook sarsen ka saig. Add in 1 tablespoon coarsely or finely chopped, or grated fresh ginger into melted hot ghee. Stir and sauté for a minute. Add 5 or 6 pureed tomatoes into pan. You may use ready-made or homemade tomato puree also. Stir and cook for 6 to 8 minutes, or until mixture thickens. Season with half teaspoon or to taste of salt, half teaspoon or to taste of red chili powder that is hot paprika, one and a half teaspoon coriander powder, and a half teaspoon garam masala. Stir and saute for a minute. Then add ground mustard mixture into tomato masala. Stir to mix all well. Finally add in 2 teaspoon, or 1 tablespoon maki ka atta that is coarsely. Ground corn flour, don't use refined corn flour. Stir to mix well so as to prevent flour lumps. Cook further for 20 to 25 minutes on medium low heat while stirring occasionally. Turn off the heat, delicious sarsen ka sag is ready. Garnish with a dollop of butter and serve accompanied with maki ki roti, enjoy. Like and subscribe for more recipe videos, it is absolutely free.